So this is Crock Pocket by Magazoid. I've done a previous video on this, but it's gone through about five more revisions, so it's worth doing another video. Plus, I didn't actually post any of any of the files, and uh, it had some bugs, so I'm quite glad I didn't post it because it had bugs in it. So I've got a more traditional screen on here now. It's just a two-inch uh, screen, and I've changed a few of the components. This is uh, the ESP32 S3. And uh, it does the same thing actually as the Null Nano, but doesn't actually share any of the components or the schematics. So everything is different on here. It's just a different design. I'm going for a clear resin printed uh, back. These have been done by Gel C PCB, and a resin printed front as well. It's got a chrome insert, or is a sprayed chrome insert? So there's a, a few difficult or nasty solders on here, uh, which is the 16-pin USB ports, probably the worst, uh, and also the Q1 there is a six-legged dual transistor package. It's a bit tough the first time you do it. I think anybody that's attempting this is probably going to know what they're doing anyway. This is not really a, a, a sort of beginner project. So there's only probably going to be a couple of people who attempt this and uh, they know what they're doing. So I'm going to hot plate a few of the components here, the ESP32, the amp, the TP4056 and, and the USB port. Those are the ones I think I'll really kind of need hot plating and then everything else is just hand soldered. So yeah, for any any new newer viewers, these are these are DIY handhelds basically. There's no kits. I don't sell them. They're open source. All the files will be posted on Hackster.io, so you can make it if you've got that sort of skill set. Um, I, I think you'd classify this as micro soldering really. So the bomb file is pretty big as well. That's another thing to consider. There's a lot of components there. There's a few that aren't even listed here or on the screen as a more capacitors and resistors. So anyway, let's uh, let's get on with it.
So that's all the soldering and gluing done. Just got to get this uh, screen on now, battery, and then put in the case. So I want to get this screen on first because it's sort of flapping about at the moment. This centers the display and then also raises it by three millimeters. And then you need a little bit more sticky. Kind of a little ball of sticky. That's a bit of a goofy way of doing it, but. It should. Now theoretically that should be dead center. I guess uh, we'll find out when it's on. All right, so just the battery, that's just a bit of double-sided as well. I don't think you should go too mad with this on the batteries because just on the worst case scenario, you're gonna rip it off. So I've shortened the lead, done that properly and uh, also, you've got to be very careful to check the polarity because I'm getting a lot of these batteries where they just switch them round at random. So I've already checked that and had to alter it. That's probably that's way more than enough. Oh, come on. Okay. Uh, I put fingerprints on the screen and mind. So here it is, crock pocket, 
I think it's turned out nice. I mean, I like the I like the clear back. I think it looks uh, pretty snazzy. And uh, and uh, the resin front obviously is very very well made. You know, it is uh, I'm totally sold on this sending away for cases now. I mean, it's nice to be able to print your own, but you just can't get this level of quality with home printing. And the uh, you know the send away service is not that expensive anyway. Um, so what are we gonna? Well, the doom. We got to do doom, right? Oh, I didn't really want to. Oh, seriously? Oh, wow. Well. Anyway, so that's uh, Crock Pocket, and uh, it's the second in a series that I'm working on. Um, Pico Pocket being the first one. And then there is going to be at least another one, but it's nice they uh, keeping them in the same fork factor, but sort of having a slightly, slightly different tone and theme. And uh, hopefully that'll continue with the with the next one. So tune in next time and see what I'm up to. Thanks for watching.